Bust Squad, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy, Bust Apple Sauce. Here to bless y'all with another video. And today, as y'all see from the title, we are talking about the top five brokers ever, all time. Again, this is my list. I want y'all to put down in the comment section below if y'all have any lists that are slightly different from mine, uh, stuff like that. If you like it, hate it, blah, blah, blah. But again, this is my list. These are brokers that I have personally used. I haven't used every broker in the world. So this is just my list. I know there's a lot of great brokers out there, but if you don't see it on the list, prob I just probably haven't used it and haven't had enough experience with it to say, okay, this is a great broker. But without further ado, let's get into it. Let's, let's get into spamming the like button. Of course, let's hit that, that like button. Let's turn it blue or white or whatever they've been doing with YouTube nowadays. Press it up. All right, so the first broker, uh, one of the first brokers I ever used uh, when I was first getting into day trading, the reason why I use this broker is try to getting around the PDT rule when I was under 25K. And that broker here is Use Stock Trade. This broker is at number five. It holds a soft spot in my heart because I was on it so long. And it's just a very cool and simple broker uh, for people that are trying to get on the PDT rule want low commissions and it's just a very simple platform to use um you they pay they charge you a dollar commissions when you go in and when you go out so when you buy it's a dollar and when you sell it's a dollar so people that have like these really small accounts that want to day trade as much as possible a dollar isn't going to kill your account it's really easy to get in and out with just a dollar commission and it's really cool that you can trade as much as you want the only downside with this broker um, it doesn't have any charts, so you're going to have to have your own charting system on the side or on another platform or website that you can use to get the actual charts that you want. But that's not that bad. Um, I'm used to using uh, some other charts, and I'm going to have other, other brokers that I use their charts that are higher on this list. On top of that, uh, the, the liquidity is, is not the greatest. So when you're using the broker, if a stock is very hot or very popular, uh, the broker uses this thing called a peer-to-peer -peer lending. So you're literally selling and buying the people that are inside the broker, that are using the broker themselves. So sometimes there will be a limited quantity of shares that you can buy, or there won't be any shares that you can buy in this particular company. So that be can become annoying, especially when you, you see the stock skyrocketing up or hop jumping down or whatever it's doing and you just see your strategy you see your setup and you can't get in because there's a limited quantity of shares that can be super super frustrating very frustrating very annoying um but you're not going to run into those particular issues too much if you're like swing trading or whatever it's mainly for day trading um, that you run those type of issues but overall it's a pretty decent broker for people that are going to want to trade every single day and they are under the PDT rule and they just want a simple, effective broker that's gonna get you in the trade and out the trade uh, when you need it to. So that's why it's on number five. It's a very simple broker. Um, the drawbacks are just uh, the, the liquidity issues and the no chart. So that's what, all right. The next one on this list, I haven't used it. This is one I've used the shortest amount of time compared to all the rest of them. For example, you stock trade. I've used that one for a year plus. Uh, this one I've only used for a couple of months, but just because I've used it for a couple of months, even though I've only used it for that long, it's still a very good broker that has moved up the list because it's just so great. And this is Fidelity. A lot of people talk about Fidelity on like TV, it has all the commercials and stuff like that. But for some reason, I haven't like thought to use this broker or thought to look at this broker. I don't know why. I don't know why what was going through my head, but this is a very cool broker. Um, the execution is cool. The charts are great. I think this has one of the best charting platforms out there. One of, uh, there's a couple other brokers that I like a little bit more uh, for their charting and they're, they're on this list, but I really like uh, Fidelity for their charting system. The downside with this broker though, if you are under 25K, um, it has it does follow the United States guidelines where you cannot trade as much as you can as much as you want So that will be for something like you stock trade, but Even though it, it has those issues 
um, it's still a very, it's an excellent broker to trade off of. Uh, people that want to swing trade, people that want to day trade, it's pretty good execution. I can't say the best execution, but it's pretty decent execution and has a very great indicators. The customer service is pretty good and also has a lot of different funds for people that are not just trading. Um, if you want to get index funds, mutual funds, stuff like that, they have a very broad platform of stuff. But it's just like an all-purpose broker that it, it, it excels in basically everything it does um, in the business. So highly recommend the broker. The only downside that I don't like about this broker, the level two is trash. For me, I am a, a day trader that trades based off of the level two and the tape. And I really need the level two to work. And this broker fails, fails miserably at using the level two. The charts are cool, the, the, the indicators are cool, the execution is decent. I've had I have better I've seen better brokers with execution, but it's cool. It's decent. I, I can't complain too much about the execution. But the, the level two is trash. It is so bad. Um, I call customer service, that's why I like customer service, call them. And they were like, yeah, we know a lot of people are having this issue uh, with the level two. So they, they said they're going to get it fixed. We're going to see. I don't know. Um, but maybe this video, when you see this video, they have it fixed and it's working smooth as butter. But for right now, I, I can't recommend it if you are a day trader that trades off a of level two and you're scalping. I, I can't. It is, it's not good for, um, for day trading. But... It does have no commissions, unlike you stock trade is free, free everything. So somebody that just wants an absolute free broker and they want something super cool that works very well, this is the broker to be in. I really like this broker because of that. It's free, great charts, great indicators, uh, decent execution. There's a couple on the list that are a little bit better, but overall, you can't really beat it. It's like a, a five, four out of five I would give for this broker. Really like it. That's why it's on the number four list. All right, so let's move on to number three, what uh, my number three broker is. All right, so this one is a classic. I, I, this is the very first broker I ever used. Before I knew what a broker was, I was on this broker. And this is Robinhood. This one is very cool um, because it's super simple. It's for like the beginner investor that is just learning the market, just understanding what a buy button is, what Microsoft is, what a ticker is. They're just learning the bare bone basics. And this is perfect. Even for those seasoned investors, I still use it to this day just to hold um, a couple of stocks because it's just so comfortable, so convenient. You pull out your phone, you, you, you put in your little password, you put whatever, you put your password in and boom, the mark is there right in your face, perfect for you. And that's what I like about this app. It's just the convenience of the app that you can just hop on your phone and trade as much as you want to. Um, I use it day to day. Um, I do like swing trades on there. Um, I highly, highly, highly do not recommend this broker uh, for day trading. It, it, it's a train wreck for day trading, but for swing trading, long-term investing, I definitely recommend it. And for the beginners out there that are just learning the basis of the market, it gives a lot of, um, it answers a lot of questions for you. So like how to buy, how to sell, um, what a dividend is. It just, it walks you through. It's like a broker with training wheels so to speak. It's just very beginner friendly for people that are just getting accustomed to the market. And it, it has one of those things that it's not going to um, scare a new investor away because it's simple enough. You're like, oh, okay, this it's going up because of this or it's going up because of that or it's going down. And it just breaks all that information down for you. And I think that's what Robinhood does very well. It's for those brand new investors that are just trying to get to the market and learn something new and it's also great for those seasoned investors that are trying to make money and that's where i, I really like Robinhood. the downside execution trash trash execution can't stand the execution um if you're day trading if you're swing trading it's not that bad because you're not going you're not fighting for price as much but uh the execution is not that good especially on their option contracts and that's where this is a free broker, so that's where they make make a bulk of their money off of uh, trading uh, the spread. Um, if anybody is familiar with this, so let's say you buy a stock at ten dollars, they'll give it to you at like ten o two, 
and make it that two cent spread. And they'll do that with all their customers. And that's how they make a profit on Robinhood. So execution isn't that good. If you want $10, you may not get $10 on the dock. You may get like $10.01. Um, and that can be an issue for some people. Uh, but other than that, I really like the broker. Very simple, very basic. Um, charting isn't A1, but that's not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be a simple broker for people that are brand new. If you want expert charting, you want to go to Fidelity or some other brokers that I have on the list. So number two on the list, this is where you're going to get your charting at. So Robinhood fails in the charting department. It's a beginner charting system that doesn't have a lot of, doesn't have too many indicators on it. Number two is where you're going to get your charting. You're going to get everything you need. It's a lot better than the previous broker that I have on here, and that is Thinkorswim. I love Thinkorswim. This was my second broker I was on. Um, I feel like this is like, if you're a Robinhood trader, you get your Robinhood, you get accustomed to Robinhood, and then you'll transition over to Thinkorswim. I feel like that's just what traders do. You, you get your Robinhood, and then you transition over to Thinkorswim because it has the charting that you need. This has to be the best charting in the business. I don't know. I, I, look, think or swim. If you want me to, if you, uh, if you need a sponsor, let let me do it. I I, I will spot. Look, I, I I will I will sing the praises of think or swim. Love the charting A one charting. This is my favorite charting out of all the brokers I've been on. I've been on E Trade. I've been on Fidelity. I've been on uh, Trade Zero. I've been on a crap load of brokers. And this has to be the best charting system ever. Um, it's super uh, simple. Um, it has all the information you need. The indicators are A1. Um, I feel like I've been on the broker for like three years and I feel like I'm, I'm still learning uh, new things about this broker because it just has so much um, information on there. It's just a very, very professional broker. It has games on there. You can play some Tetris. You can look at 20 different companies at once. Uh, you can have a customized layout to have charts layout uh, the way you want them to be as soon as you open up your computer. It, can have, it has watch lists. It has your scanners. Um, everything you need in a broker it has. Like I, don't, I can't think of anything you can need that it doesn't have. Scanners, the scan for companies, a watch list you can set up. It has games to, to pass the time. It has indicators, like all the indicators you could need. Um, I, I, I don't see where it lacks. Charting is, is A1, like it, it kills it. The customer service is great. Um, it has messaging where you can message other traders in there. I think it's just like a one stop spot for traders. Like broker wise, it, it's great for everything. Problem, one problem. I, I was singing the praises for so long Maybe uh, think this one will watch this video and maybe change some things. The one, two problems I have, the 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 level two and tape is trash. Don't use it. If you're a level two and tape reader, don't use it. It's very delayed, very slow. Um, it feels like it's it's beeping almost. It's like a down, down, price, down, price, down. And it's very weird that it moves that way. Um, it's one of those things that you don't pick up on immediately, but if you're trading a while, you notice price is supposed to move fluidly in the market. Price, prices, bidding is always going on. It's constantly going on, but Thinkorswim doesn't recognize that. It recognizes it on like a half a second. So like every half a second, it gives you the quote. Every half a second, it gives you a quote. Instead of letting me know, okay, somebody's bidding, somebody's bidding, somebody's bidding. Um, it's hard to explain on video. It's just one of those things you have to see like this is you can tell like this is kind of laggy Like what's going on here? And you can even notice that When the candles move so it moves laggy. It's not it's not a fluid of Okay, people are selling people are buying. It's a more of a Okay, half a second went by let's change the price half a second went by let's update the price half a second went by Let's update the price and you even notice this in their execution. That the, the, if, if Thinkorswim could fix those things, I'd be on this broker all the time. The, the, it has like a slight lag to it. And the execution of your trades is not the greatest. It kind of reminds me of Robinhood in a sense, where 
there's like a slight delay on the, the execution. So let's say you get in, you have a price of $10. For some reason, it puts you in at like 10 It's like it doesn't put you in exactly when you want to get in. It's like you press the buy button. It, it, it hits its clock a little bit. Like, eh, okay, all right, it's time to get in. And then it gets you in. It's like a, a slight hesitant delay on the execution. I don't like that. But if it, if it could fix that, it'd be great. It'd be A1, A plus broker. But other than that, I, I'm, I'm talking bad. I don't think it's going too much. Uh, let's not let the, the bad uh, not excite you about all the great things that have on broker. A1 platform for charting, A1 platform for scanning, A1 platform for watch list, games, everything on there, everything you need in a broker, it has. It's just, it's like a slight lag on it for some reason. I don't know what's going on with it, but it, it feels very laggy. And I know it's not my computer. I've tried it on multiple computers. This is a brand, I have brand new, I have brand new software. Here. This is brand new 2020, 2019 and stuff. It's not my computer. I know it's not. So uh, if Thinkorswim can fix that, maybe I'll move you a, a little higher on the list. But for number one, number one. And the reason why I put this as number one, this is for me, this is my list um, because I'm a day trader. And what I need is a broker that is going to day trade for me with execution, great price. And the reason why I did this is because the number one criteria for me to be a number one broker, you have to have great prices, great execution. You have to have me, me my ability to get in and get out very quickly. If you can't, if you don't have that, you cannot be a number one. And that's why a lot of these brokers were not number one for me. And the reason, the one I'm talking about today is Dosh Trader. Dosh Trader and everything that comes with Dosh Trader. So, um, Sure Trader, F1 Trader, Center Point Securities. Um, those three are my number one. And they all feature a broker called Dosh Trader. Dosh Trader is definitely A1. For the execution as soon as you snap your fingers you are in and out of a trade you don't get no slippage nothing you hit the button you're out you hit the button you're in you don't have to worry about anything like that the execution is just perfect it, it destroys all these other brokers when thinkorswim is is counting the time to let you in i'm already in and out i took my money and i'm gone that's how fast this broker works on top of that it has the best hotkeys in the business. That's where a lot of these other brokers were lacking. Thinkorswim doesn't have hotkeys. Uh, Robinhood definitely doesn't have hotkeys. Fidelity doesn't have hotkeys. You stock trade, you can mod it to have hotkeys, but it doesn't have hotkeys. Uh, Dosh Trader has hotkeys for sure. You can boop, 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 input certain things in, immediately buy 100 shares, immediately buy 500 shares, immediately buy 1,000 shares. The ability to customize this thing is super cool. The way you can edit your hotkeys, um, edit your ex execution to speed up the way you want it and have a certain type of execution that you want. The customized ability of this thing is just A1. On top of that, the level two on these brokers is perfect. It feels nice and buttery smooth. It moves, flows when the market flows. You can see orders as they come through. Nice and easy. I love that. The one thing that I don't like about this broker though is the fees. Um, it is very expensive. Uh, it can run you like $200 a month, but it's one of those things where you get what you pay for. A lot of these other brokers, the Robinhood is free. The Thinkorswim is free. So when you're thinking about, okay, I guess I'm paying $200 to get a quality broker that actually works, that actually gets me in versus the Thinkorswim, the, the, the Robinhood that's gonna hesitate, delay, and it's free, but at the end of the day, it's costing me money because I can't get in at the price I want. So it's like, what are your options? I, I'd rather take a paid broker. I pay my money. I pay my uh, my $200 a month. And um, I'm getting in perfectly at the price I want. Because at the end of the day, when you're trading the market, it's all about getting in at that right price. And that's what you need. You need a broker that's going to actually do that. But I know some people don't like to pay the $200. But hey, if you're making $1,000, $2,000 whatever a month just think of it as an investment in your business and that's what i think of it as for me um on top of that the one downside other downside i could say the charting is not great i still think thinkorswim's charting is the best in the business 
this charting is just decent. It's just okay. So what I tend to do, I'll have my my think of swim charts up on the side, and then I'll have my dosh trader uh, where I'm taking the execution. So I'm looking at my charts, and then I have my, my dosh trader right there. So that's my perfect layout for me, the think of swim with the dos on the side, A1 setup for me. So those are my top five brokers. Uh, Center Point Securities, number one. Uh, I think it's win number two, uh, Robinhood, Fidelity, and then you stock trade. So let me know down in the comment section down below what your top five brokers are. Uh, would you change anything on the list? Do you hate my list? Do you love my list? Let me know down in the comments. But of course, spam the like button. Of course, spam the like button. And also let me know um, down in my DMs. Hit me on Instagram, hit me on Twitter. What videos you want to see next? But that's going to wrap it up. It's me, your boy. What's that? So stay blessed. And I'll see you next time on Bless to Invest. Just to see tomorrow is a blessing. Stay prayed up, it's the message. Everything about a nigga play. Hey.